is a whale of a tale. Some 50 years later, people are remembering this day in 1970 where Oregon State Troopers blew up a beached whale on the South Jetty in Florence. A 45-foot eyesore that became a legend. And today, KEZI 9 News reporter Emma Jarrell spoke with the reporter who was there that day and another man who holds the whale in his heart. Walking here along the South Jetty, there's no sign that anything explosive ever happened. And I mean, obviously it happened 50 years ago. A sperm whale washing up on the shore, dead on arrival in an endeavor to remove it that those involved would soon regret. November 12th, 1970. It started with a whale. Well, the whale stunk really bad right at the site followed by some out-of-the-box thinking. They came up with a plan like, let's pretend <laughs> basically like it's a big rock on the highway. We'll just blow it up, you know? <laughs> and what comes next was the stuff of legends. <laughs> right after that, it started snowing, rancid blubber, little tiny pieces. There was just no escaping it. Larry Bacon was a registered Guard Coast reporter only a few months on the job. I had a Moliflex camera around my neck and I was like, I didn't even think about taking a picture. I was just looking up there. His article from that day beginning with, it was a beautiful day to blow up a whale. He says it's a story that's followed him for 50 years. And that's <laughs> attached to my name. That's the one that... Uh, they wrote a column about when I retired, that's what was featured in the column. And I'm sure it'll be in my obituary. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not the only one with a connection to the event. I wrote my college thesis on this. Chris Van Vechten drove down to Florence just for the day. There was no way he was missing it. Pandemic or not, we were going to be here for the 50th anniversary. You know, we were willing to give up Passover. We were willing to give up the 4th of July whale blowing day that we had to cut the line. And so it is 50 years later, a time where people reflect on a bizarre part of Oregon's history and are reminded how not to dispose of a whale in Florence. Thank God for the Internet. Emma Jerome, KEZI 9 News. The cause of an RV fire in Eugene is under investigation tonight. The RV on West First Avenue was fully engulfed in flames at about 7.30. Nobody was hurt. Witnesses told police they saw someone leave the RV before the fire started. A motorhome exploded into flames in Cresswell last night, getting a lot of attention, but no one was hurt. Officials say the fire started in the tractor supply store parking lot at about 6.30. People in the area tried to put it out, but the RV was destroyed.